Shannon, what do those comments tell you? It's saying that, look, guys, there's no reason to panic. Baker Mayfield started four games. Three of those games have been three points. Three of them's going to overtime. So what are we panicking for? We're fine. I mean, we score 40 points, we lose. We score 23, they kick a field goal, we lose. Mm. What, what are we panicking for? The only game they were blown out was the Chargers. Mm. And Baker's also saying subtly, Hugh, last year you had control of offense. You were 0-16. Uh -huh. The year before that, you uh -huh. had control uh -huh. of offense. You were 1-15. Uh -huh. Nah, we need you to stay right there where you are. Good but boy. Hugh but Hugh understands, Skip. <clears throat> Skip's like, Skip, uh, Hugh's like, well, hold on, wait a minute. If I don't, I need to have some mm -hmm. because... I believe it's going to take somewhere between eight, nine games mm -hmm. for you to keep this job. Yeah. And Hugh said, like, you know what, if I'm going to go down, let me go down, you know, with my hands on, mm -hmm. on the wheel. Yeah. That's and not true. somebody else controlling my own yep. destiny. But I, I, I agree with Baker. What, what, are we, what are we panicking for after, mm. after the last second field goal? Because we got the ball first in overtime. Things just didn't go our way. The Raiders, I mean, look, shouldn't even got the overtime because that was, that was a fumble. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Derek Carr fumbled the ball. The guy scooped it up. It should have been a touchdown, mm -hmm. and the Browns should have won this game. So I agree with Baker Mayfield. I don't agree with Baker very often, mm -hmm. but in this situation, I do. There's no reason to panic. They're not getting blown out. The games are close. Mm -hmm. Hugh, you're doing a good job overseeing the team. Yep. Let Todd Haley continue to do what he's doing. Do you realize what a powerful statement you just said and Baker just said between the lines of what he was saying? Mm -hmm. He said, no, Hugh, this is between the lines. He's saying, no, you just keep doing what you do because the guy who's calling my plays is doing just fine. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. True. Th that's, that's really drawing a line because I'm pretty sure Baker is closer to the new GM, John Dorsey, than he is to the old head coach, Hugh Jackson. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that John Dorsey has dropped a hint or two that maybe we'll go in a different direction at some point at head coach. And I think that's coming. And I think mm. Hugh is flailing and fighting, and I've always supported Hugh, but I didn't love the way he, in my view, mishandled the quarterback competition during training camp True. that was for all to view on hard knocks. And all of a sudden, he had two star coordinators, Greg Williams, Todd Haley, who were sort of taking over hard knocks. Both have been head coaches. Both have been head coaches. You don't think you're threatened? And now Hugh, when he grabs the mic, He's, he's trying to seize the day. Mm -hmm. This is my football team, and I'm in charge, and I have the last – I have final say on everything. And now he's indicating he's going to take back over the offense. I don't think it would be a good idea for the reasons you just said. Although Hughes had stints as, as a coordinator in Cincinnati and at USC where he was Oakland? really good at it. Oakland? Yeah. Well, I mean, he was a head coach yeah, for a while. But here's the thing, though, Skip. What Baker's saying is being be patient. Mm -hmm. Baker has that luxury. Baker will have a fully guaranteed contract. We know he's going to be there for at least four years. They're probably going to pick up his option. Guess who doesn't have another four years to be patient? Mm -mm. Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson says, I need to get wins. This closeness does not count. Mm -mm. This is not a grenade throwing horseshoes or I'm not slow dancing in the eighth grade. Mm -mm. So closeness has nothing to do mm -mm. with whether or not I'm going to be able to hold on to this job. Mm -hmm. So I get what Baker says and I agree with Baker. Hugh, we, you, we saw what you did when you had control. One and 31. Mm -hmm. Let Todd Haley keep this thing. Mm -hmm. But but Hugh is saying, Baker, I, I can't be patient. Mm -hmm. you, my boss wants to see wins. He wants to see we moved up to get you. We got talent around you. Defense yep. is playing. Defense is mm -hmm. still playing at the high levels. Now, one game we saw him against the Chargers. We were like, what happened to the defense? But all in all, they've been very solid. I get what Hugh's saying, but Baker is absolutely right in this situation. How many times do you see a new GM come in and stick with the old head coach for, for longevity. It just doesn't happen. Nope. Usually no. you'll give him a shot, and usually you're not quite on the same page, and you go a different direction. I want my, do I want my guy. I want yep. my dog in the house. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure John Dorsey will go in a new direction, not during this year, but next year, and I feel bad for Hugh because he's a good football coach. He has not proven that much in Cleveland, right. and I hope he gets another shot somewhere else. Well, dang, Skip, how many shots you want him to get? Mm. You know what? I think he's the classic, mm. he's a better coordinator than that, a head coach. You, you oh, took okay. the words right out of my mouth. Some And some guys are like that. 
Wade Phillips, Wade Phillips had a Wade was head coach at Buffalo. He was head coach in Denver. He was head coach at Dallas. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think he was head coach in San Diego, but he was head coach mm -hmm. at a lot of different places. He was. But he's a better defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's the same case with North Turner. Maybe North Turner is just a better OC than he is HC. No doubt. And that's okay. And that is also the case with the current Dallas Cowboy head coach, the 8-8, eight 8-8, eight, 8-8 eight eight, eight eight Jason Garrett. So. Yeah. But, when, but when your dad on the team, you yeah. get to be, put, get to be whatever guy. you want to be. Quotes around Yeah, dads, yeah, I mean, oh, oh, Jason Garrett Jones. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. No, he is another son. Yeah. To a fault. Uh, Steven's right. like, he got to get him up out of there. Yeah. Steven say he's trying to cut into the inheritance. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Not that yet. is true. I would agree. All right.